All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on, uh, and we're actually about to go on our journey uh, out of Besaid. The world's about to get a little bit bigger for us. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa, you're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. There's actually something we can do first before we get started with this, though. And we want to go ahead and come back in here because we want to, to go to the shop and pick up a few things. And there's a major missable that we... Uh, that we can miss here that we won't actually be able to pick up until way later in the game and it's much better to pick it up right now so let's go ahead and buy some items here um we'll go ahead and actually we don't need to buy any potions we'll buy a couple more phoenix downs and we'll also buy a couple more of those Come back soon you know a funny thing happened my dog dug up something yesterday i wonder what it was now that we've done that <clears throat> we can actually go find this dog it takes a little bit of, you know, looking around to find said dog, but if we come into this third uh, hut, whatever it is, talk to the dog, and you obtain something mangled and slobbery. NCS has learned Overdrive Energy Blast. Now, previously, we only had one Overdrive, and now we have a second one. This is the only Aeon in the whole game that gets two different Overdrives, and that's a thing. So if you don't get it, the first time that you do this area, then you can't get that until you fight the Dark Aeon. Here comes one now. And we automatically have the sword equipped, but sword here again. we go. Now we get to start doing some combat. No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Waka is uh, a very high accuracy, um, kind of mid-range attack kind of enemy. He's very good with flying enemies as a result because flying enemies have high evasion. So Titus is a very quick enemy, or he's a quick person who's really good at attacking enemies that are fast. Uh, Waka is really good at attacking enemies that are in the air. Now this enemy is not your average enemy. That looks like trouble. So if we try to attack, it doesn't Watch really this. work. Told you, only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Lou, you're up. So, Lulu is Please, your black so mage, and as is here. with pretty much... Spells yeah, I know, we, we, we get it. It's, it's based on Final Fantasy and ice logic. Are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? 
Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. It's like, you know, how would this one Titus have even fiend, known about that? How would means... Titus have even known about that, though? So, he's a water fiend, so we're going to use thunder on him. And that basically instantly kills him. So, if an enemy is weak to something, it takes one and a half times the damage instead of just whatever the normal damage would be. And if they're immune to something, they take half damage. With the exception of like instant KO attacks. If they're weak to that, they usually instantly die. If they're not, then they don't take any kind of damage. Take your time. Like the spell death, for example. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Art. You ready? <laughs> What's going on? All right, so now we get the option to pray. It's an ancient custom. Which I'm going to do People just because it's the island nice. pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said well, we don't want to be like Chapu, so I'll go ahead and pray. I'll, I'll be a, a kind gentleman and pray. That should do it. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and save, because we actually have, guess what? Another boss fight coming up. Now, this isn't actually r really that hard of a boss fight at all. So, it's just something to kind of keep in mind, you know, we're, we're about to actually have to kind of do a fight. And it's another one that can kill us, I think. <laughs> Although, I don't know if the gank... <laughs> Although, I don't know if the game will, like, let us get that far. But, let's uh, check out the Spear Grid real quick. Or the Sphere Grid, rather. Let's see, so Power Sphere. And our Strength went up by one, that's gonna be nice. Although in the future, we'll be getting, like, strength plus four upgrades, so it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, man, Waka, this is kind of useless. Where do I want to take you, though? Because I think your path... Is this your path? No, this is definitely not your path. So I guess that we might just want to take you... Yeah... We probably just want to go ahead and take you the way that it, it says here. So we'll go ahead and just take you this way. Get another speed upgrade. His accuracy goes up even more. As you can see, though, he's got, like, several several speed upgrades here. He can actually go Oren's path here if he decides... Or if I decide I want to take him that way, which I probably won't. Um, I would love to get zombie attack, but I'm not going to um, right now. Now, oh yeah, you may have noticed we have Yuna as a party member we can actually battle with her, which we'll learn about in a second. In the meantime, though, oh, let's take a look at this. Something is written here. Kilika and Bikinel something at something. In a perfect world, we'll actually be able to read those. So we can't really do much here, we could cheer. So we can't really do much here, we could cheer, but there's not really much of a point. I guess I will, just because we can. And uh, we'll go ahead and just attack him. I believe that doing cheer raises your strength, if I recall. Now, really it is just kind of hack and slash, there's really nothing to do here. You probably can die against him, so we're just gonna keep on attacking. What? I'll give it one more attack and I might have to use a potion. Oh, he could kill me. Oh, that was close. I'll give it one more attack. Okay, so good. He did not kill me. That would be bad if he killed me. <laughs> What's with that guy? 
Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the Fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kamari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Huh. Pretty cool. And we actually gained a little bit of AP. And then we get a Hunter's Sword. Almost kind of ironically. I don't even know if that's a good item. Let's, uh, let's take a look, though. Uh, sensor's okay. I'd rather have the strength upgrade for sure. Oh, yeah, now I can use the Rod of Wisdom. So getting that extra 8% magic and sensor is actually, like, really outstanding. So let's see, official ball, don't have any equipment. And what about Lulu? Yeah, that's what I thought. We're too, uh, too early in the game to really get anything of significance in terms of, you know, armor or equipables armor or equipables or anything like that, unfortunately. It would be pretty nice to get a little bit better gear, but we won't get anything for a while, unfortunately. A flyer! That's your department, right? True, true. But, uh, why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Alright, so now we can only have a maximum of three people in the fight, but we have four party members, so we can just switch them out at any time. Your first real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. So, Yuna's thing is she's the healer, but she can also summon Aeons, as most white mages tend to do. So we're gonna go ahead and summon our Aeon here. Now, I did forget to set this uh, to the shorter animations by default. I wonder if it'll let me do that. So, here's NCS. Uh, so, if we do Sonic Wings, what that'll do is that'll push his attacks um, for, uh, further back a turn. We also have some basic black magic that we can use on this guy. Um, but it's actually best just to attack. And he'll do some damage to us, but he's not going to deal enough to kill us because uh, NCS actually has pretty high evasion. So, um, And also the more he dodges, the higher his uh, overdrive gauge will go up. So there's that to keep in mind too. So. There's actually something else that we can do with the Aeons as well, so if we go over to the right, we can shield, which will reduce our damage, but won't give us overdrive, or we can take more damage, but get overdrives, get overdrives. So I'm going to go ahead and boost just to show you what this is like. As you can see, we took some damage, but we did get closer to the overdrive gauge being filled. Pretty close. Let's go ahead and just attack him, and this should get us pretty much right there. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, so, we have Energy Blast and Energy Ray. Now, I'm going to use Energy Blast because it is a more powerful one, but I will make sure to show Energy Ray at some point. This is also the one that we picked up from that dog's mouth. Didn't overkill him, but it did do a lot of damage. And we got a variable mog. Let's uh let's actually take a look at that real quick. That was for Lulu. Magic plus three percent. Hey, that's actually pretty good. That's uh that's actually not bad at all. Given the, uh, this early in the game, having that extra three percent magic can actually make a pretty sizable difference. Another one of those. No problem. Leave this one to me, huh? Say good night, birdie. And now we learn about dark attack, or just infl inflicting status ailments in general. So now this enemy won't be dealing any kind of physical attacks to us because it'll miss the next three physical attacks. It's kind of a cool thing, actually. Um. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Yuna kind of defend here. 
And I'll just go ahead and attack. Um, we'll have her, her do another fire spell. And this is just kind of like my favorite part about the game. I love the combat in this game. I think it's really, really fun. And we'll go to get Titus back in here. Titus, Titus. I, I'm going to wrestle with that name the entire time I'm doing this LP. So hopefully it, I'll eventually settle on something. Oh, crap. I accidentally attacked. Well, that's what the attack with the Mo uh, the, the Moogle looks like. Or with uh, with Lulu. Um, ba -ba -ba. We could try to cheer, but I'd rather just go ahead and attack. I don't know how much HP is left on this guy. Hopefully not enough to be a threat. Ooh, look at that. Let's go ahead and use a fire spell here. And just like that, he's dead. And we got everybody incorporated in that fight too, so in a perfect world, we should all be getting a bunch of AP, which will bring all of us a little bit closer to getting um, level ups. Go ahead and call it quits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys next time.